For the past week, I gave up my MacBook Air with M2 and I gave up my computer, my desktop computer, and I started using an iMac from 2013. Now what I did, I used OpenCore to update it to macOS Sonoma, and I started using it as my daily driver to see you know, what I can do to push it to the limit and get some answers. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how that go because I have to admit, I am more shocked than you think. So I do apologize, I have to use my phone to record the screen because of Apple didn't put a HDMI cable or something on this one, there's no way I can connect it to a capture card and I don't want to use this built-in screen recording because this will take the performance away from the, mo from the iMac. But just to let you guys know, so it's a late 2013 iMac 27 inch. I have a 3.4 gigahertz quad core Intel Core i5 and Nvidia 775M with 2 gigabytes, 8 gigabytes of RAM and here is the rest of it. And I'm running Mac OS Sonoma 14.5. So why am I so surprised about this iMac? And we're going to start with the day-to-day -day basic stuff, right? So what do you normally do? You watch a movie on YouTube, you know, you watch uh, a movie on, on Netflix, on place, whatever you want to do, right? And I'm going to literally use some of my videos here. And I'm going to show you guys something that I'm really, really, uh, I'm really, really shocked to be fair. I couldn't believe it that this is a performance that it actually go. So let's go to the last video that I posted about the Nintendo, right? Now, how you can see, it's literally loading automatically in 4K. For 25 pounds, and this is how I got to the 70 pounds frame. And I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of Nintendo Switch, mostly because of the games. I'm not a big fan of Nintendo games and stuff like that. I don't play Mario and Legends. The, the fact that this machine can run a 4K video, literally, I was on the I was a spit in 1080p, don't get me wrong. But to be able to run a 4K video, right now with no problems i'm shocked i i don't have any words to say so this computer over here watching some movies and things like this will be perfect for you now let's go i don't use a netflix well, just close it i don't use netflix for my movies i have my own server with plex here is where all my 4k movies are as you can see here and watching a 4k movie again like youtube come on Oh, I already have it here, I'm sorry. Watching a 4K movie like YouTube, let me just stop it and then restart it for you guys. Watching a 4K movie, how I'm watching on YouTube, you know, no problem or something. It's it's amazing. I cannot believe that you can actually do this on a 2013 iMac. This computer, it's 11 years old. It's running the latest Mac OS. It has the original hard drive installed, so there's no SSD, there's nothing. It's just literally the original hard drive. And I'm watching a 4K movie. You know, this, this computer, it's amazing. I, I don't have any words of describing how happy I'm actually are with, uh, with this computer. Now, let me show you guys the speakers a little bit because the speakers, Jesus, oh my God. Now, what I'm going to use, I'm going to use Upbeat. Now, I, this is where I get my music from and this website is pretty amazing and it's pretty cheap. So I do recommend it. And here I will select a song. So the fact that you're getting so amazing speakers with this device, literally for the money that you're going to pay for, it's, it, I, I can't describe it. The reason why I can't describe it is because in 2024, right, you will buy brand new computers that doesn't have speaker like this. I mean, some of the new iMacs, they don't sound as good as this one. So I am pretty surprised. The performance is amazing. The sound quality is amazing. But now let's see what we can do how we can push it more so i do have a game here which is euro track simulator 2 it's a game that i always played especially on max and let's see how this game actually runs now when you first start the game when you first install it just to just as a heads up this is not the recommended settings so the actual recommended settings let's put the volume down a little bit here the actual recommended settings is literally the resolution it's up when you put it so he recommends me using the highest resolution possible so he recommends me using 2560 don't use that because you will still get the small legs from here to here 
and everything on low except you know there are some some things here like reflection it's a medium vegetation is a medium grass density uh, it's on low shadow you actually get it on low but i put it on disabled because it's affecting a lot texture quality to medium so this is kind of like what we're going to use right now to play the game and uh have to admit i'm shocked again i mean 2013 right an iMac that it's i think the latest version that you can run officially is mac os high sierra but you can still use it today as a day-to-day -day task you can you know play some games slowly play some games you know this game does have some small lag from here to here but that's fine you know it's just you know you can still enjoy it you can watch a movie on it you can listen to music you just send your emails you can edit your word documents and things like this and because this one is not an m processor you can literally install windows if you want to using bootcamp for example so running dual boot on it but the thing that literally shocks me the most is that you are literally running the original hard drive which trust me this hard drive is way way too slow for things like this and you will see it installing the game for example took about 20 minutes because it's a lot of things to install so you will see that the hard drive is a it's a big problem i'm going to sh make a, another video for you guys uh with an ssd installed on it i already bought the ssd but i wanted to make a comparison with the original hard drive and with the ssd now when i'm going to make the video with the ssd i'm going to also show you guys how to put the ssd so every single thing that video is probably going to be a little bit low, uh, longer than this one in this one i just wanted to go straight to the point i know if you guys want to see how the performance is and things like this you don't care about other stuff that other youtubers are showing so straight to the point the performance it's amazing for example the, you know it's it's 11 years you know since this iMac was released it's 11 years and this iMac is still running probably faster than some Windows PC that you will buy today in 2024 so if you want a cheap iMac then this is the perfect thing for you you can update it to Mac OS Sonoma easily you put open core and uh, that's it you you'll have a gaming PC kind of not the best gaming experience but still a gaming PC you will get a uh, you know a good entertainment you can watch some videos you can do some some work you know excel powerpoint stuff like this and you get a lot of things now the believe it or not this imac is not is not finished yet now if you want you can actually use photoshop on this imac so the latest version of photoshop actually opens and works perfectly on this imac with no problem i'm not going to do a lot of video editing right now don't get me wrong i'm using this for my uh for my mouse and it's not the best thing but opening photoshop yeah it does take a little bit of time don't get me wrong but it works it literally works you can use it and as a literally imac in today's world a little bit slower but still today so you create a new file you select the resolution for example the resolution that i got here and that's it photoshop works with no problem you know uh, a lot of things that you can do i actually didn't test it too well this feature the reason why i didn't test it too well this feature is because uh i was in a hurry i was behind to do it but you can actually do some small video editing on this device you know is literally this device i didn't expect too much when i started it don't get me wrong i literally didn't expect too much uh i'm using filmora for my for my video editing it's not the best one it's not the fastest one but i got used to it so yeah but uh you know probably you guys would use something else but for example using filmora here import how you can see i already click and it does take a little bit to load i got here some edit i got here some clips that i put so this is a 4k uh, 4k clip it's literally the video that i posted on my channel about the switch that i was showing earlier and how you can see i can drag it do i want to keep it or match the media match the media let's edit in 4k and literally i don't know what this is so how you can see some hiccups here but still it still works this is the thing uh let's make some cuts here let's delete this thing i was pressing the wrong button i'm sorry and let's add a transition i don't know give me a transition no. give me a, a zoom let's let's add like a zoom transition this is very popular right now in uh 
in video editing on YouTube. So let's add something for Zoom. I don't want this one. Where are they? Cinematic? So how, how you can see, you know, it's, it's working. It's not the fastest one, but it's still working with Zoom. It's still working. You can do your things with it with no problem. So for example, this one, let's add this transition over here. And it still works. Literally it still works. So if we're going to click export and I'm pretty sure I will have to log into my account. Yes. Okay. So now that I'm logged into my account, uh, for example, here, uh, because I have the normal hard drive, keep in mind, the export thing will be affected by it. So we're going to go on highest, the same resolution, everything. And let's see how this goes. So we're going to export it. And exporting a 4K video will take not too long, 10 minutes right not a lot of effects don't get me wrong so you you know it, it's not a full full uh, export of a 4k video because not a lot of effects it's just a one effect there one transition and everything but still it still works you can still do i mean you can run a youtube channel with this thing with no problem you can edit some of the things that you want with no problem this computer in 2024 is still amazing i am pretty sure the moment i will add an ssd to it it will be 10 times better so yeah how you can see the imac from 2013 is still an amazing machine running in 2024 the latest macOS version now if you're interested to see how the ssd upgrade would look and what's going to change in this imac then don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel like this youtube will notify you when i post a new video i also do other videos like how to build your own servers and help you guys save some money with subscriptions for example like netflix and spotify offer a new alternative to it and if you do like it i'll see you guys in the next one